Many Iranians here say they've paid a high price for their country's nuclear ambitions. Years of sanctions have led to international isolation and an economic toll that is difficult to quantify. But the cost can be measured in at least four lives. Nuclear scientists killed in targeted attacks between 2010 and 2012. The government blames regional rival Israel, which has never confirmed or denied the allegation. Iranians revere the dead scientists as heroes, honoring them with burials in a centuries-old shrine next to a descendant of the Prophet Muhammad. Their widows and families are treated as national treasures, and at this ceremony to remember men and women killed in the line of duty, the head of the Revolutionary Guard himself thanks them for their sacrifice. The first scientist was killed here, outside his own home. Masood Ali Mohammadi was a professor at Tehran University and was on his way to teach a class. As he left his home, a motorcycle bomb parked outside was remotely detonated, killing him instantly. That day, he said goodbye three times. Masoum Karami knows the price Iran has paid better than most. I started calling Masoud, Masoud, Masoud. He didn't respond. I saw that part of his head was blown away. I realized he's gone. I put his head down and started screaming and crying and asking the neighbors for help. Her home still bears the scars from the bomb blast that took her husband's life. She's done her best to preserve his memory, even kept his briefcase the same way it was on the day he died more than seven years ago. Iran's supreme leader banned the production of nuclear weapons in the mid-1990s. Iranians say the issue was inflamed by the United States, Israel and other countries as an excuse to isolate them in the global marketplace. Iranian MP Nagabi Hosseini is spokesman for the Parliamentary Commission on National Security and Foreign Policy. He says the idea of an Islamic nuclear bomb made in Iran is a myth. In Etahan, this accusation was a lie that America put it in the mouth of the international community. I'm telling you, not before, not now, not in the future, nuclear weapons have absolutely no place in Iran's strategy. First of all, it's the fatwa of the supreme leader. It's a religious edict. We have to abide by it. Parliament, government, no one can defy it. We are obliged by this fatwa. But whenever there's a new argument between Iran and its rivals, the government here likes to remind the world they could be producing highly enriched uranium again in less than a week. While more work would need to be done to build a bomb, for Iran's enemies, it seems, it's still too close for comfort. Zain Basravi, Al Jazeera, Tehran.